Hi everyone, it's Hatsy and I'm back with another speed build in The Sims 4. Today we are going to be building another family house for the Parenthood Game Pack release. So I did one yesterday. Well, in fact, no, I built this a few hours after I shared the video, technically. However, you're probably seeing it a day later than the other speed build that I shared. And that's mainly because I had an urge to do like two houses. <laughs> so one a little bit traditional and then one that is like a suburban house, which a lot of you can use. And I haven't done a house like this in a really long time. I was looking at some of my old builds and I thought I haven't built like that in ages. So I wanted to try it again because I used to do this really weird thing where like I used to use loads of white on the outside of the house so everything would just look really over exaggerated and cartoon like so you'll probably see that for this build you'll probably see that the roofing just technique that I use is just a bit weird but I really like it in fact I liked it so much that I did four matching houses like this so yeah if you don't like it I'm sorry but you've, you've came to the wrong place <laughs> anyway moving on from that I thought about sticking in a garage, which I didn't think about because why was I doing it sideways, number one? And number two, it would have been elevated because I elevated the house. What was I thinking? Like what? I don't know. But I can tell you that I severely miss garages at this point. And it's really strange, you know, because I don't even use my own garage. I might actually do a video about what is in my garage because like, I swear, I stick everything in there. Everything that I don't want to think about. But yeah, just in case you are actually wondering. Okay, so I have like this massive sofa in the garage that I don't even want to think about. Like, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to talk about it. I just, I just want it to disappear one day. I'm genuinely hoping that it grows legs and just walks out. Like, but no, that's not going to happen. I'm probably going to have to deal with it at some point. Apart from that, I have a washing machine and a tumble dryer, which I don't use. And I also have a ridiculous supply of hoses. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I've never been a hose person. Like, what? Why would I have hoses in my garage? But yeah, anyway, so loads of weird things, just weird collections of things, boxes that I've got things in that I just haven't been through from Germany, stuff like that. So... Yeah, maybe I'll get around to it at some point. What I was doing at this point though, is I was trying to figure out a color scheme for the house. So if this looks weird, I'm sorry, but I actually think this is really helpful. So yeah, what I do sometimes is I just like draw a wall, or like, you know, put a wall down, mix different colors together and see what I've got. Really strange though, because we don't actually end up with any of these colors from memory, I don't think we do. I think I tried the red, but because of the white, it just looked too hospitally for me <laughs> yeah it did I don't like hospitals at all I don't like doctors either doctor surgeries anything like that so yeah red houses I don't think I'd ever live in a red house although it does look nice right now but yeah it does change you can change it back though if you wanted to but I just felt like I would go for a grey house because I know that some people just like plain homes, you know, not a lot of colour. That's fine. You don't have to. You don't have to be absolutely wild. Like, I'm not expecting you to, I don't know, enjoy a pink and green house. That's not for me. So, when I used to live in Kidderminster, I remember my mum told me about this woman who was obsessed with pink. And she lived on this street, okay, she had like, apparently, she had a pink front door and her whole inside of her house was pink. Like everything was pink. Her hair was pink. Her car was pink. How insane is that? Just like that is such a commitment. But I get bored. You know, I'd look at myself and think, I want things to be blue today. Or <laughs> I don't know. I like pink, but I don't like pink that much. I'd never have a pink house or a pink car. My car's white. I love, I love white cars. But the only problem is it gets super dirty. So that is an issue, but you know, we don't have to think about this. It's, it's a Sims 4 speed build. <laughs> I'm talking about my car. But yeah, there we go. So I did a really nice little flower arrangement. I haven't done one of those in a while, I don't think. I'm in love with this house. I really am. It's just such a cute family home. We have got some just different colors inside to break it up a bit. 
so it doesn't look too boring on the inside because it starts to get slightly boring now with the colours. But yeah, it's one of those houses that if you did want to change anything, you really easily could. But I don't know, something just drew me towards the grey and I was thinking, I've never done a grey house. I don't think I have. If I have, then point one out to me please. I don't think I have done a grey house in this brick before with that stone. <laughs> Very specific, but I don't think I have. I can't stay away from ivy either. I want to do a whole covered ivy house very soon so that will be coming up on the channel yeah it's been a crazy crazy week really crazy a lot of people asked about me on my last video which i'm really grateful for and i just want to say but i feel a lot better and what made me feel a lot better actually was coming back to systems and doing some builds i've got a lot of builds to share so there will be loads this week next week there'll be a castle next week as well hopefully and a lot of people have been asking me about let's plays and stuff and they are returning too so both of them will be returning it's gonna be good the channel's gonna be a good place <laughs> i want it to be a channel that people can trust you can trust when there's gonna be content out i want to get to that point okay because i feel at the moment i might not be the person that is very trusting with content but I want to be you know I want to be someone that's just like okay we have this on this day and like that on that day I want that I want it so bad I think it will get a lot easier when my internet gets better yeah I'm in a bad situation with that as well it gets to the point where like I have to really plan out what I share and I have to make sure that if I make a video that it's coming out the next day because it's going to take eight hours to upload and also whilst it's uploading i can't do anything else like i actually can't use the internet even spotify won't load like that's how bad <laughs> things get but i have to say really odd so i was listening to spotify the other day and i got obsessed with this song this song got stuck in my head to the point where i couldn't stop singing it I couldn't stop thinking about it. You will never guess what song it was. It was the same song on the Sims 4 Parenthood trailer. <laughs> I literally can't get away from the Sims even if I wanted to. I can't. I'm just trapped. <laughs> so yeah, that was really weird because I was like, wow, I've heard this. And then I remembered, oh, I remember where I heard it. Yeah, not too keen on the garden. I have to say garden isn't a strong point for me. I felt as if I had to finish it though, so that is why I didn't necessarily create a family for this one. I did create one for the other one though, so they should be up on the channel by now. If they're not, then that's really sad and that's all on me and I'm sick of it. I'm, <laughs> I'm sick of me promising stuff and then forgetting or not delivering it. Like, I need to stop. I do need to stop that. So yeah, anyway, inside of the house. So you'll see some different colours start to appear as we go later into the build because what I do like to do to be honest is I will decorate a room and then I'll probably go back to it at the end and I'll change something about it if I just think it doesn't look right and stuff that's just how I do it everyone does it differently but this build definitely has more of a use for the parenthood items than the last home that I did I do prefer the interior to this one it's just brighter and happier I think and I just like how homely it feels you know it feels like a really happy family live here so if you want to make a happy family for it I would love that I would absolutely love it and also if you're interested in me bringing the dream houses back then I think I'll probably be making a few of those soon so yeah make sure to put your sims on the gallery if you want me to make a dream home for them because I can try my best to do it trying to experiment with just like pops of color I guess I tried the yellow and I thought no. I felt like an interior expert doing this bit though <laughs> because everything I put down just seemed to match and I was just like, wow, that's never happened before. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with this room and, and how it does look. I like the idea though of the family just sat down just on the sofa while the kids are like playing with the doll's house. I love that idea. The kitchen, moving on to that. So the kitchen isn't that dissimilar to the other one that I did. <laughs> I need to stop thinking about it because this is a separate build now. And also, this is so funny because I had a massive rant about, you know, the light thing. 
the, oh my goodness, the oven light, okay? Well, I hung one of those up for the modern build and I didn't realize that it wasn't an official light. It's something else, but I was talking about how dim it was, how it didn't have enough brightness, and it just made me look like a complete fool. So <laughs> I'm really sorry for that. Because I watched the video back, I was like, oh, wow. I sound really odd in that video. So yeah, I actually love this kitchen. It's got more color than the other one. And it's like blue and orange, which I just think is so nice. I went to this person's house a while ago. So this was when I was like dating at college and stuff. I went to this guy's house and he lived in this like massive barn conversion. He had the nicest house, but the worst personality ever. I'm so glad that I stopped speaking to him. I just really didn't like him. He also picked me up about an hour late for the date to begin with. I only saw him twice, so yeah, it didn't happen, but I'm just so glad that it didn't happen because yeah, there we go. But I would have loved to have seen that kitchen again because he had a really good kitchen. <laughs> Anyway, moving on to the dining room. Now this room's massive. So what I did is I put in some boxes of just things that your Sims can build together because it's a huge feature of the parenthood pack. So having a big space that they can do that, I think it will look really good. But right now it doesn't look so great. But I think when all those items are built and you can find like a proper place meant for them and you can probably put them up on like surfaces and shelves and stuff, I think it will look really good. But just for now, I thought we'd put them on the floor because why not? That's how it finishes off, like super pastel-like. The toilet was a weird one because it doesn't match anything. It's like a really sad place. That's how I feel about that room. I just feel like it's sad and boring and I should have done something crazy with it. But the upstairs bathroom, I will tell you, you have something to look forward to there because it finishes off looking really good, I have to say. So the upstairs, I tried to stick with the marble but I didn't in the end. We went for like a wooden flooring, which I did change in a little bit, but you'll see that. I've also been loving the other builds that people have been doing with the Parenthood pack. I've been seeing loads pop up and I just think, wow, this is such a creative community, isn't it? Just so many people just have so many different ideas of what like a family house will look like and you know, what they want a family house to look like. I just think it's really interesting. I love seeing when other people build. I've been watching a few, so. There is a massive part of the community which is really supportive and, you know, really involved with other people, other YouTubers and stuff. And I always try to do that, you know? I always try to be involved in what other people do. So finishing off the bedrooms in the build, we've done the hallway now. So that was a complete and utter mess, but we'll sort it out in a bit. <laughs> And I did try to use this table again. The only thing I don't like about this room are how many curtains there are. Like, there's four windows here, you know? There's a lot, lot going on. But it does have a lot of brightness, so there's that too. So, yeah, looks okay. And this was the last room of the build, so it is a kid's room. And I went for blue and cream in here because I thought they went really well together. And I also did incorporate the vampire pack flooring. I think that it looks really good actually and I was quite happy about using it because sometimes with packs like that it's really hard to incorporate them again into other stuff but I think it worked really well. Anyway though that is the end of the build so I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see all future ones. Thanks so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.